Oh, that door was freaky. Okay, that door won't open. We must go this way. go before she figures out we're the ones who fudged up the computer core. Take maintenance lift. Uh-oh. I hear Davidians. This isn't the power distribution level. Sir, security's overridden the turbo lift. They must have detected our arrival. Station security will probably be here any minute now. If we're gonna get out of this without a fight, we better look for an alternative quickly. We'll have to find a console that we can use to override the turbo lift so that we can keep going. Okay, so we're going to make a little... We can't get through that door. Uh-oh. So we're going to climb through the Jeffrey's tube. Another group of Starfleet officers ahead, sir. If we're cautious, we might be able to avoid them while they're looking. I never do this. I can never do this right. So here's another... Forced stealth segment. And it's actually a bit like... If you've played Final Fantasy VII... It's actually a, a bit like a part where you're stuck in the Shinra building... And you have to get past a bunch of guards. Uh... My bridge officers fucked me over when I first did this because they jumped on top of the fucking crates. So I'm not sure if I want to bring my bridge officers over or not. So I may hide here and wait. And while I'm here, I'm going to... Where's my Horda? Where's my Horda? Okay, there, there, there's my Horda. Uh, where's my large shields? Large shield charge. Put you there. There we go. Switch those. Good to go. Okay, I wasn't watching. I'm going to have to wait for him to pass again because I don't want to get caught by this guy. I want to try. I want to try to get through here without getting caught. I probably won't succeed, but... Motherfucker, are you going to go over here or not? Yeah, there you are. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, lock. Get behind the crate. Both of you? Okay, both of you, don't you fucking dare. Don't I don't you fucking dare debuff them. Oh fuck this. Weapons free. And I got vaporized. Hooray. Why am I in the Jeffries tube? There we go. You see what I mean when I'm when I'm talking about these guys. Why are 23rd century phasers penetrating 25th century personal shields? Yo, I should not be taking anywhere near this much damage from them. Uh oh, kick him! Jesus Christ! And uh, he's got his own uh, Nadeon rifle, or Type 3 phaser rifle.
All right. Well, that went poorly. Hold it right there. We're the other security team. The intruders ambushed us and took our uniforms. Locke's freaking out! Everything's out of control, man! Then why are you dressed like that? Our attire is the most unusual thing you find about us right now. Luck, settle the fuck down. They left behind their clothes. We had to put on something. The intruders ambushed us near the Jeffreys tube between the turbo lift and the control room across the hallway. There, this is basically, you know, you basically you're going through here wearing supposedly whatever the hell you want. So that's why they're asking this question. Most people don't tend to do stupid shit like run through the TOS mission in TOS uniforms like I like to because. I like to immerse myself in the game. Moving on. Go back to the maintenance lift. I'll take my team to check the Jeffreys tube, and we'll box them in. Righty ho, ma'am. You and your twin. All right, we've unlocked the maintenance turbo lift. It's time to get the fuck out. That is not going to keep them forever. Nice little wall panel. And we'll run it into walls here. Lock! Get your ass over here! Goddamn, boff pathing, man! Okay, take lift to power distribution level. Sir, we should be able to find an induction coil on this level as part of the power systems. Then we simply need to rig the subspace inducer to the sensor array, and we can pinpoint the Davidian's incursion. Locke is stoked about it. Let's see. Oh, bad shit's going on. So, there is a character coming up who I'm going to try and voice act properly, but... Well... I apologize in advance. You there! Don't just stand there. Come over here and give me a hand. People are dropping like flies in this station. It's all I can do to keep up. Who are you? I can, I can read it right there. I'm going to proceed along the uh, assumption that my character knows who the hell he's talking to. He's a Starfleet legend! What's going on? Some kind of illness is affecting the people on this station. Blue flashes and ghost stories. There has to be a reason for it, and we need to stop it. People are dying here. What do you need me to do? As far as I can tell, all these people reported seeing those strange blue flashes of light. Now they're all dying. They're worse than dead. Their brains are gone. Whatever this disease is, it's suppressing brain activity at an alarming rate. It's almost as if the energy between neurons was being removed somehow. The blue flashes seem to be associated with a strange form of radiation. So we've set up the triage center here. That crazy engineer said the power distribution station is heavily shielded. What kind of radiation? How should I know? I'm a doctor, not an engineer. The blue flashes are still happening anyway. We need to find some way to replace the neural energy, jumpstart the brain somehow. Like reinforcing a drain shield generator. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. But the mind is a much more complex and delicate instrument. Maybe. Maybe that's the key. The brain might be able to restart itself if stimulated correctly. Give it the energy it needs and then a stimulus to make it spread throughout the nervous system. 
I'll need to know how much neural energy the survivors have, so that we can figure out how much they've lost. Then we'll need to apply cortical stimulators at the correct frequency. It's no panacea, but it may save the lives of the crew. Saving these lives is important to making sure that everything turns out the way it should. Well, come on. Grab a tricorder and start checking the neural activity in some of these survivors. Take note of your readings. We're going to have to calculate the difference from a healthy mind and determine the right frequency to stimulate the brain. A normal human neuron has a resting potential of minus 70 millivolts. Once you have some readings, we'll calibrate a cortical stimulator and try to revive some of these people. Dialogue puzzle. Scan neural patterns. Take specific read reading. Scan neuron resting potential. Okay, normal human is minus 70. Uh, let's see. Sodium potassium. Okay, elevated. Sodium potassium gates damaged. Anomalous neural activity. Sodium potassium gates damaged by forcible ion movement. Likely causes sudden change in neural voltage. Predicted results, hallucinations, loss of motor functions, nervous system damage. Okay, that's one. So yes, this is Leonard H. McCoy. He's a character from the original series, or the uh, 2009 revival, if that was your first introduction to the character. Okay, neuron resting potential. Her neural resting potential is at minus 58. Normal is at minus 70. Uh, neural sodium potassium pump levels. Exterior potassium levels elevated. Neurons limited to 15 millivolts active potential. Normal human active potential is 30 millivolts. Scan for anomalous neural activity. Sodium and potassium ions depleted. Some neurons incapable of chemical response. Likely cause sudden change in neural voltage. Predicted results. Fatigue, blurred vision, dulled senses, loss of autonomic functions, and low resale value on your home. <gasps> no, we have to cure this. Okay, that's an instant medic. Talk to McCoy. Ready to try some neurosurgery? Okay, review findings. Normal human neuron resting potential is minus 70 millivolts. I love this shit, having to write stuff down. Alright. However, I do believe somewhere in my little book... I wrote... I jotted down the solution to this puzzle. Because I fucking hate... I hate fucking... Doing the doing this shit, so I'm gonna flip through my book a little bit quicker. Quicker, that's a word because I invented it. Okay. All right. Okay, positive. Okay, neural charge at rest. At rest, neuron contains positively charged sodium ions, exterior, and positively charged potassium ions, interior and exterior. All right, so. All right. Calibrate. Uh, voltage for the resting potential has to be minus seventy. Uh, ha that has the voltage for the action potential has to be plus thirty. Uh, sodium external, potassium external, and internal. Okay, sodium external, potassium external, and internal. Let's try that. Let's try it. Let's see what he's won. Oh god, I'm gonna, it's going to be a horror movie scene. I feel strange, but better. It worked! We need to get this to the station commander. Come on. Huh. That last one was a complete guess. I mean, I totally knew what I was doing the whole time. Absolutely. Sure, this might be a good chance for us to get find that induction coil. Indeed. This one's kind of funny in in that you can't actually get it from standing in front of it. 
No, you gotta actually, like, jump over to get it. You have to stand right in front of it. Like, right on top of it, in front of it. In front and on top, as what I meant to say, indeed. Moving on! Integrate the subspace field emitter into the station scanners. While I can still speak. Let's see. Kendra Reaver. There's like named characters in here. Let's see. Integrate subspace emitter. It's working, sir. The emitter has adjusted the active scanners for the station. What do you make of these readings? Oh, he was talking to Lima. Actually, the bridge officer is talking to each other, huh? Imaging shows that the station is becoming suffused with trialic radiation. The radiation is coming from Driffin's Comet. The comet itself is emitting mass amounts of trialic energy. The Davidians must have realized that it's a natural source of the energy, and they're using it as an easy way to shift into sync with us. It's like riding behind the wake of a ship in the water. But that's not all they're doing, sir. They're harnessing the trialic energy and infusing it with chroniton particles. With that, they could have enough energy to move the entire station out of phase, maybe even the entire sector. We have to stop them. The comet is the key, sir. But we can't do anything about the comet without a ship, and I don't think a 23rd century vessel is going to be able to do the job. You'd be surprised, from what, judging from what's about to happen to us later on. With this information, it's clear that we have to find a way to destroy Driffin's Comet, sir. We can use one of the auxiliary reactors in sync with the subspace emitter that we've hooked up to the station in order to make a temporary portal that will take us back to our time. Once we make it back, we'll have to report in and find a way to bring a ship back with us to destroy the comet. This is actually the easy part. There are many ways to travel back through time in Star Trek. In fact, we'll be using one that was uh, first used in the original series. We re reactor to Trialic Portal. Oh, Schnazzle. Don't bother with a temporal portal. Targeting is a little bit sluggish. Don't bother with the portal, we're being shot at. Oh. I was kind of wondering why they weren't shooting. I forgot I told them not to. Oh, look at all, look at all the, those healing buffs. Okay. Cool it, folks. Polaron Pulse Wave Assault. Already have, like, two of those. Two or three. Okay. Ops. We have another problem. We've absorbed so much trialic radiation at this point that traveling through a gate again would cause radiation poisoning. Normally, we just use Hyronolin to flush it out, but our medical supplies aren't protected against phase shifting. Our Hyronolin supply is probably already irradiated. It isn't the sort of problem that comes up frequently. We'll need large doses of Hyronolin to chelate out the existing tri trialic radiation and protect us from the transition back to the portal. There's one person who can probably get it for us. Doctor! Namo! Chill! Oh boy. I should have told Locke not to call Namo forth. How did Namo even get here? We're in the 23rd century. 
Did he beam through the portal? Actually, it's not too far-fetched, considering all the other stuff I've seen in the game so far. Talk to McCoy. Something else you need? Actually, I have a friend who took a little too much trialic poisoning and could use some hyronolin. A friend, huh? With all the radiation flares that the station's experiencing, we're probably going to need a little short... Uh, ow! Sorry. With all the radiation flares that the station's experiencing, we're probably going to be a little short on Hyronolin ourselves. I can maybe spare a hypo, but if your friend is getting radiation, he or she's on the station already. I'll need a double dose to chelate out a significant amount of triolic radiation. You should never lie to your doctor or your bartender. That much radiation can mean you've experienced something close to the epicenter, like fooling around with triolic waves. You don't need green blood and pointy ears to know that is a bad idea. But when the people on this station really needed it, you came through. I appreciate that. I think I can spare a few doses. Just don't let the station's captain hear about it. Thanks. Look, I'm not sure who you are or where you came from, but I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just an old country doctor, but I know better than to ask too many questions about a little unexpected help. You probably shouldn't loiter around here too much longer, or people will start to ask questions. I'm going to put these cortical stimulators to good use. And thanks, you've saved a lot of lives today. We can take the portal back to our own time whenever you're ready, sir. McCoy is right there, Lima! <laughs> I know for a fact he's dealt with time travel before, but let's not... Let's play this safe. Okay, both of you chill. We're going home. Hi. Let's go home. We can take the portal back to our own time whenever you're ready, sir. Like 20 gigabytes of footage so far. This is actually a long mission. Alright. Let's get back in my uniform. There we go. Let's get off the station, too. So I'm wearing the Wrath of Khan uniform. Occasion wearing the Wrath of Khan uniform. And let's go ahead and hail Franklin Drake to collect our rewards and then immediately sell them. Yes. So, Driffin's Comet is the source of the triolic radiation. That explains a lot. However, we cannot simply destroy it in our time. The Davidians have the means to go back to the 23rd century and harness its energy there. However, that will be their only other chance. Before that, there's no Josana Station, so there's no place that will be close enough to the comet's trajectory to be of use to them. The only logical solution is to alter the past, destroy the comet there, and save the Federation. As it happens, I, happen to, I have access to a way to transport your ship back to the 23rd century. It's risky, but I think the odds are in your favor, and if they aren't, there's always time for another try. I'll make the arrangements. Stay in touch. Yeah, you're going to try and get me killed, you asshole. I am certain... Yeah, these don't... You actually can't trade these in for many energy credits. I am fucking certain... That... F that in the next mission, Night of the Comet, Franklin Drake is trying to get you killed. Because it's the only thing that makes sense. Considering what happens in that mission. And I'll point it out when we get to it. Go ahead and re-equip all my shit. All my shit. Let's see. Uh, no, I had a purple pulse wave. Polaron full auto rifle. Polaron pulse wave assault. Okay, let's go ahead and re-equip Lima with her sniper rifle, and I have to get her back in her normal uniform. And Locke had a shoddy. Pulse wave assault. Locke had a shotgun. Where is Locke's shotgun? Anti-proton pulse wave assault. Well, I might as well give that one to him. 
He's an engineer, so of course he gets shotguns. And that was Everything Old is New. It's actually a very fun mission. I like it a lot. Yep. Yep. All right. I got to go get these clowns back in uniform. Uh, very fun mission. It's got it's kind of it's got that balance of combat and dialogue in it that uh, I think especially a lot of Foundry authors really sort of try and get. Uh, but I am going to go get these fools back in uniform, and I will see you guys next time for the finale of the Davidian featured episode series, Night of the Comet, which will start awesome, and which the beginning will be awesome, the middle will be awesome, the end will suck! Oh god, the ending to that mission is going to be painful, it's always, ev all, every time it's painful, ah! It's even worse. I actually managed to survive the ending to this mission once while I was playing in a full group while they were doing the featured episode rerun of the Davidian series. I actually managed to survive to escape destruction at the end of this mission, and I was amazed, and that's a feat I've never been able to repeat simply because of the massive clusterfuck of shit that happens to you at right at the very end. But you'll see what I mean. Uh, and until then, I will see you guys later. So, later.